Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India We have been looking at uh, 1D flows with uh, friction that is uh, Fano flow. We looked at uh, the Fano curve which uh, uh, thermodynamically shows uh, how these flows behave when they are uh, starting from uh, subsonic flow and supersonic flow. Then we looked at equations of Fano flow and now we will look at how these uh, look at these equations and then come to the concept of um, what is known as uh, frictional choking. Uh, so, uh, bear in mind uh, and there is it can be repeated many times uh, because this is very uh, an essential concept uh, that you look at whenever you look at Fano flows remember this curve uh, qualitatively it looks like this T naught is a constant and this is the way T s looks like you know, maximum entropy point Mach number is less than 1 Mach number is greater than 1 here Mach number increases pressure temperature decreases here Mach number decreases pressure and temperature increases so this is a supersonic branch is subsonic branch now, if this concept is known then uh, let us go ahead now and go towards uh, different concepts of um, this uh, friction. The first uh, thing that we have to understand here is uh, look at uh, now in this it is a 1D flow uh, and we know that in supersonic flows uh, uh, we one can always expect uh, shock waves and in a 1D flow the uh, we look at normal shocks. Now, the question we can ask here is uh, can a normal shock be present in a uh, 1D duct with friction ok. So, when there is a frictional flow happening uh, can there be a, a normal shock if there is a normal shock how will it get uh, represented and uh, that can be immediately understood uh, because one thing is shocks are discontinuity. So, they do not have any uh, specific uh, length or they are discontinuous. So, uh, since that is the case and um, the other case is they saw they uh, 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 they also satisfy the equation rho 1 v u 1 equal to rho 2 v 2 that, that means rho v equal to constant and also uh, they also satisfy the equation h plus v square by 2 equal to constant that is total um, it is an adiabatic flow. Now, uh, how did we draw the um, Fano curve? Uh, we drew the Fano curve by just considering these two equations and then uh, we considered g as a parameter and rho can be varied correspondingly whatever uh, fits in that formed the uh, Fano curve and therefore, if you look at uh, a normal shock and look at the uh, equations that uh, depict normal shock they are the same. So, that means uh, normal shock uh, uh, the states of normal shock can be located on a Fano curve. So, uh, that is a very uh, straightforward inference that you can make out of this and this uh, point you can also understand. Uh, by the fact that there are two branches in a Fano curve. If you take uh, this branch this is less than 1 and there is a corresponding supersonic branch for m greater than 1. So, uh, one can always find two points right 1 say 2 and 3 here ok that corresponds to mm, a normal shock states across a normal shock. 
So, if you have a duct and there is a, a in, in the uh, inlet is supersonic and there is a possibility of a shock occurring within the duct, then that uh, shock can be located on the uh, Fano curve. So, if you look at this particular um, uh, exp, uh, the um, problem or uh, this problem that is given over here. Uh, the entry Mach number is greater than 1 that is it is supersonic. Then um, first it passes through a duct of length L 1 and uh, reaches a Mach number M 2 at which there is a shock and across the shock you get conditions uh, M 3. Okay. So, M 2 uh, conditions 2 conditions at 3 there is no change in length because shock is a discontinuity it is at that same location and then you have a length L 2. Now, this L 2 uh, at this particular point is uh, having subsonic flow. So, this particular description of this problem can be represented on a uh, Fano curve um, like this. So, starting from 1 uh, it went along this uh, Fano line to the point 2 where the flow is still supersonic, but at this point a shock occurred and uh, therefore, you have this wiggly line of course, you cannot put any uh, line or anything across a shock it just jumps from point 2 to uh, point 3. So, it is located on the same Fano curve because G is the same. So, the same Fano curve look at uh, the point two, uh, 3 which is uh, across the shock. Then further there is another uh, flow uh, or the fan of flow which happens uh, for length L 2. So, initially Mach number decreases in the supersonic flow there is a shock there is a sudden jump Mach number becomes subsonic then after that Mach number uh, increases pressure slightly uh, decreases. So, it is possible to locate a shock uh, in the context of uh, supersonic flow in constant area duct split friction or in the context of uh, Fano flow and uh, what happens actually if there is uh, uh, a shock that actually we will see uh, in a few moments. So, uh, associated with this is the uh, very important point of uh, uh, choking due to uh, friction. So, in this context what is meant by uh, choking? So, here if you had uh, taken a look at the Fano curve depicted here you know that there is a maximum uh, uh, entropy point which is corresponding to Mach number equal to 1. If I take any uh, particular. Um, so, I draw once again T s and this is the Fano curve and I take any arbitrary starting point say this is point number 1. Okay. So, this is uh, flow inside a duct and uh, let me take that at the end of the duct. Okay. So, L corresponds to L star which is the maximum length or length of L star where at the end of the duct uh, Mach number equal to 1. Okay. Mach number is 1 at the end of the duct. Now, this is L star what it corresponds to is a maximum uh, entropy point. Uh, now, if you look at this curve and ask the question at this point if I increase the length by a small length delta L what happens? Of course, this cannot be done because there is no solutions on the right hand side and also the other fact is that um, an initially subsonic uh, 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 flow can only go up to a maximum of Mach number equal to 1 and you cannot go uh, beyond that. So, there is a maximum length of the duct uh, that one can give with a given uh, friction uh, for a particular in inlet condition or for a particular inlet condition which is L star. 
if one gives a length which is greater than l star you do not have a solution uh, in the context of this uh, Fano curve something must change uh, otherwise uh, that flow cannot uh, happen. So, this fact that there is a maximum length uh, for a given uh, Fano curve. Now, Fano curve is parameterized by G, G is mass flux which is m dot by A. Mm, so, for given mass flow rate there is a and given uh, static conditions at the inlet there is one particular maximum length uh, condition. So, um, you cannot change this uh, particular fact. So, how can this be changed? Then it changes. If you have this particular condition that you are at L star and you want to change uh, the length of the duct, you can do it uh, by one case is by changing the initial conditions. You can move the in initial conditions back which is equivalent to saying that there is an increase in uh, pressure at 1. So, if I say this is 1 prime. Okay, so, then now if I move this back then my total length now increases, uh, G is remaining the same in this case that means mass flow rate is remaining same for the duct, but now uh, I have to give uh, higher pressure. So, that means increased pumping. Uh, so, if that is not possible if you cannot increase uh, pressure then uh, what you should uh, what can be done is a change in mass flow rate because you can move to a different uh, uh, G curve which is a different Fano line which has lower mass flow rate. So, this is uh, schematically represented here. So, you have a stagnation uh, given stagnation conditions. So, uh, that where we have a certain P1, T1 which is uh, remaining constant. So, initially this is the initial point uh, it uh, started with 2 and goes to 3 here okay, uh, along the uh, particular Fano curve along this curve. And if it goes to Mach number equal to 1 at 3 then it is the maximum length. Now, uh, the question is if we want to increase this length or suddenly you want to add a more duct then what will happen? Then uh, this is not supported by these conditions. One was of course, to move it to another uh, condition uh, located somewhere here, okay. but that is also not possible because uh, here stagnation conditions are getting fixed over here. So, that uh, the P naught T naught are fixed. So, that is also not going to change then uh, the only change that can be done here is to vary the um, duct length. So, to vary the uh, G that is mass flow rate. So, if mass flow rate is varied then G can change G decreases. So, since G decreases now you can you can see that the L star corresponding to this 2 prime which is the new uh, Fano line at G which is smaller prime G prime is less than G if G is for this and G prime is for this. Then uh, L, L star prime is greater than L star. So, you can add more duct. So, if you add more duct with all other conditions remaining constant mass flow will uh, decrease. So, the idea here is in subsonic flow uh, initial subsonic flow if you have approached the uh, choking point at the end of the duct that is the maximum possible length uh, that can be sustained by that uh, particular conditions. If you want to change anything to that particular like add more duct length then it affects the upstream either you have to change uh, the pressure uh, increase the pressure thereby move along the same Fano curve. So, that you get additional length of the duct or the other case is move to a different uh, Fano line, but you would see that mass flow rate uh, decreases in the other Fano line which is G prime decreases. So, that is uh, this is uh, frictional choking. 
and uh, now you see what happens if the uh, initial uh, flow inside is supersonic uh, and you get uh, a uh, choked flow at the end of the duct then uh, how can you uh, look at this particular problem. Uh, in supersonic flows you have another uh, uh, medium or another uh, solution uh, which can uh, help in this manner uh, or in this matter what is that that is the shock okay because you have this uh, sort of uh, condition so uh, if you are at already at l star and then you try to increase the duct length then uh, you can have shocks formed in the duct and uh, transferring the supersonic flow to a subsonic flow and then again you have an additional L star uh, associated with the uh, subsonic flow. So, uh, for example, it is as is given here if you take a Mach 2.18 flow it has a value of uh, F L star by D as uh, 0 0.356. But if a, a normal shock were to occur at this particular point and uh, then uh, the value of uh, F L star by D after that normal shock would be 0 0.728. So, there is an additional uh, length that is now possible uh, uh, to uh, be accounted for, but you would of course get a normal shock inside the duct. So, in supersonic flows if you have a uh, choked condition that is Mach number equal to 1 at the exit, length is uh, maximum L star and you try to increase the length a little bit uh, then uh, it can form shocks within the duct okay. and uh, amount of duct added will lead to how where the shock is located and it can go further upstream. Okay. Uh, so, that is about uh, the concept of uh, frictional choking and uh, now we look at uh, these influence coefficients. How these influence coefficients are uh, derived is uh, uh, a matter which we discussed in the case of uh, varying area ducts. Uh, you can use you can write down the equations for variations of uh, Mach number, pressure, density, temperature express them as an uh, equation as a uh, matrix equation and then use Kramer's rule to solve them uh, with 4 f by d x by d. So, here this term 4 f d x by d uh, is the uh, governing parameter or the driver and uh, that drives all these uh, uh, influ influences all these parameters. And how does it affect this something we discussed uh, uh, in detail that when the Mach number is less than 1 initially subsonic flow you get uh, a increase in Mach number increase in velocity pressure temperature density decreases and entropy will increase f is the impulse function that decreases. Now, if you consider uh, the in case of a supersonic flow starting with a supersonic flow then uh, Mach number and velocity decrease pressure temperature density will increase and uh, entropy always uh, increases ok. So, quickly let us look at a, a very simple problem uh, before going on to more complex problems in the subsequent sections. So, uh, a circular duct passes 8.25 kilogram per second of air. So, m dot is given here m dot is 8.25 kilogram per second uh, at an exit Mach number of uh, 0 0.5. So, m 2 is given 0 0.5 entry pressure and temperature are 3.45 bar and 38 degree centigrade respectively and the coefficient of friction is uh, 0 0.005. So, f prime 0 0.005 m 1 is given is 0 m Mach number at entry is 0 0.15 p 1 is 3.45 bar and uh, t 1 is 
38 degree uh, centigrade okay uh, that is 38 degree uh, centigrade okay so first is uh, you determine uh, the diameter of the uh, duct uh, length of the duct pressure and temperature at the duct exit uh, stagnation pressure loss so uh, temperature t1 is uh, this is equal to uh, 311 Kelvin uh, at 273 m dot is rho 1 a 1 v 1. Uh, so, now we need to find uh, diameter. So, we need to find a uh, rho 1 is given by p 1 by r uh, t 1 and v 1 is given by um, a 1 multiplied by m 1 which is m 1 multiplied by square root of gamma r t 1. Okay. So, you can express this. So, uh, you get a 1 is m dot divided by p 1 by r t 1 multiplied by m 1 multiplied by square root of gamma r t 1. So, substitute here this is for air. So, air air gamma is taken as 1.4 r is um, 287 substitute these numbers here and you get 8.25 okay, divided by 0 0.15 multiplied by square root of gamma t 1.4287 and temperature is 311 and the density turns out to be 3.865. This is 0 0.04025 meter square, which is so diameter you can find out from here 22.64 centimeters. Okay, so this is the diameter of the duct. Okay, now what is the uh, length of the duct? Length of the duct we have the particular equation which is L is equal to L 1 star minus L 2 star or you can write this as 4 F L by D is equal to 4 F L star by D for 0.1 minus 4 F L star by D for 0.2. Now, M 1 we know it is 0 0.15 and m2 we know it is 0 0.5 uh, therefore we just have to find this 4 fl star by d you can look at tables or you can take a calculator you can look at the online calculators you can plug in these values gamma and m and you get this as 28.334 while this is 1.069 and the difference is 4 f l by d is uh, 27.285. So, from here l can be calculated that is 27.285 multiplied by d divided by 4 f, f is given and so l will turn out to be 308.8662 meters. Okay. Now, what are the pressures and uh, temperatures? How do we get to that? Uh, so, we need P2 by P1. Uh, this is nothing but P2 by P star uh, divided by P1 by P star. Okay. And uh, these values can be directly found out from similarly T2 by T1 can be expressed as T 2 by T star by T 1 by T star and uh, please understand that these star values are for the Fano curve that is this star value is corresponding to this. This is the star value in a Fano curve and do not confuse this with uh, star values in an 
uh, isentropic flow so uh, they are different uh, but this is completely tabulated so you can get uh, these values so from here if you substitute the values you can get okay uh, so you uh, p by p star 2 is 2.138 by 7.319 multiplied by 3.45 this is 1.008 bar and temperature is 1.143 by 1.1945 multiplied by 311 which is 297.59 Kelvin. So, this should be uh, keeping with the fan of flow uh, that we had learnt that initially subsonic flow uh, Mach number is 0 0.15 across the duct uh, Mach number will increase pressure decreases uh, temperature decreases. So, we are good it is in keeping with that uh, particular equation. Uh, now, what is about stagnation pressure loss that stagnation pressure loss is P 0 2 by P 0 1 can be written as P 0 2 star by P 0 1 star uh, P 0 2 by P 0 star divided by P 0 1 by P 0 star and uh, from this you can get the same way that you did for uh, P 2 by P 1. Now, this is in fan of flow. Okay, you have to look, refer to fan of flow conditions you get P 0 2 is 1.196 bar and uh, uh, therefore, you can find out what is the delta P naught ok delta P naught decreases. So, it is decrease a decrease of uh, uh, pressure uh, stagnation pressure which is negative 2.31 bar. Okay. So, this can be uh, found. So, this is a very simple problem of a subsonic flow. Now, we look at other problems uh, in the next class. Uh, thank you.